today we are here to celebrate 125th year anniversary of Ramakrishna Mission. This Kwasqui Centennial Jubilee celebration of the Ramakrishna Mission here we are honored in this celebration we have two eminent personalities one american consulate general melinda pavek is with us we also have with us revered swami Gyana Lokananda, Honorable Secretary, Ramakrishna Mission, Swami Vivekananda's Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata. To begin this Kwasqui Centennial Jubilee celebration of the Ramakrishna Mission, I would like to request our monastic members To begin with the invocation. Om Shri Guru Bhyonamaha Harihi Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastu Mavidvishavahai. Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om. Shanno Mitrasham Varunaha, Shanno Bhavatvaryama, Shanna Indro Brihaspatihi, Shanno Vishnu Rurukramaha, Namo Brahmane, Namaste Vayo, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahmasi, Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadishyami, Pritam Vadishyami, Satyam Vadishyami, Tanmamavatu, Tadvaktaramavatu, Avatu Maam, Avatu Vaktaram, Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om, Bhadram Karne Vishrinu Yama Devaha, Madram Pashe Maksha Viraya Jatraha, Sirai Rangai Istushtu Vagum Shastanu Bhihi, Vyashe ma deva hitaya dayuhu, Svasti na indro vridha shravaha, Svasti na pusha vishva vedaha, Svasti na starsho arishta nemihi, Svasti no brihaspatir dadhatu, Om shanti 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 harihi om, Tat chayyo ravrini mahe, Gatui Yagnaya, Gatui Yagnapatae, Devi is Vastir Astunaha, Svastir Manushebhyaha, Urdvanje Gatu Veshajam, Shanno Astud Vipade, Shantatushpade, Om Shanti 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 Hari Om. Purnamadah Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Rapanamastu
after the invocation, it's time that we listen to the opening song. I'd like to request our students, Ishan Chatterjee, Sharnabho Kundu, Gaurav Mundal, Shayan Dash, and Unubhav Shamanto for the opening song. At the tabla, they will be assisted by Shubham Laha. Yeah, 
Now, it's time for felicitation. <coughs> I would like to request our principal Maharaj, revered Swami Kamalasthananda, Honorable Principal Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Centenary College, Rahora, to felicitate revered Swami Gyanalokananda, Honorable Secretary Ramo, Ramakrishna Mission, Swami Vivekananda's Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata. Thank you, Maharaj. Now I'd like to request revered Swami Gyananakananda, Honorable Secretary Ramakrishna Mission, Swami Vivekananda's Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata, to felicitate American Consulate General Melinda Pavek. Thank you. It's time for the welcome address. I would like to request our Honorable Principal Maharaj, Swami Kamalasthananda, to say the, give away the welcome address. I pay my respectful pranam to Revered Sabi Gyanulokanandaji Maharaj, Secretary, Ramakrishna Mission Vivekanandaj Ancestral House and Cultural Center, as a guest in chief, respected uh, Melinda Fabek, Honorable U.S. Consul General, as special guest, all faculty members, students, guests, guardians, media persons, may I extend to you all a very warm welcome. Today we are assembled here to observe the commemoration of 125th year of establishment of Ramakrishna Mission. On the very outset, I expressed my heartiest welcome to revered Sami Gyanulokanandaji Maharaj and respected Melinda Pavek on behalf of the college for their presence in this beautiful program. The year 1897, the month of May, will go down in the history of modern religious movements in India as the year when the Ramakrishna mission was started by Sami Vivekananda and his handful associates. It was registered on the 4th May of 191109 under Act 21 of 1860 in the name of Ramakrishna Mission. This mission has taken its shape when Ramakrishna was alive. In fact, no one really founded this order. It was Master Sri Ramakrishna himself who brought it into being during his illness in Kashipur Garden. The spiritual inspiration of Holy Mother Sri Sarada Devi, the divine consort of Sri Ramakrishna, was a great inspiration behind the twin organization of Ramakrishna Mott and Ramakrishna Mission. 
In the early 1898, a plot of land on the western bank of Ganga at a place called Belur was acquired to have a permanent abode for the headquarters of Ramakrishna Mission and Mott. The ideology and objectives of Ramakrishna Mission were, number one, to impart and promote the study of Vedanta and its principle as propounded by Ramakrishna and practically illustrated by his own life and of comparative ideology in its widest form. Vedanta is a Hindu philosophy which teaches that there is a oneness of all truth, that all evolves from truth and return to truth. Thus, all appearances are deceptive unless apprehended through the truth. Number two, to impart and promote the study of arts, science, and industries. Number three, to train teachers in all the branches of knowledge mentioned above and enable them to reach the masses. Number four, to carry in an educational work among the masses. Number five, to establish, maintain, carry on, and assist educational centers like schools, colleges, universities, orphanages, workshops, laboratories, hospitals, dispensaries, houses of the infirm, the invalid, and the afflicted, feminine relief works, and other educational and or charitable works and institution of a like nature. Number seven, to print and publish and to sell or distribute journals, periodicals, books, or leaflet that the association may think desirable for the promotion of its objects. Number eight, to carry out on any other work which may seem to the association capable of being conveniently carried on in connection with the calculated and directly or indirectly to promote any of the before mentioned objects. The ideology of Ramakrishna modern mission consists of the eternal principle of Vedanta as lived and experienced by Sri Ramakrishna and expounded by Swami Vivekananda. This ideology has three characteristics. It is modern in the sense that the ancient principle of Vedanta have been expressed in the modern idiom. It is universal, that is, it is meant for whole universe or humanity. It is practical in the sense that its principle can be applied in day-to-day -day life to solve the problem of life. The main idea of Ramakrishna mission can be summarized in the following manner. Ideal, this twofold aim of service activities, indeed, the whole ideology of Ramakrishna modern mission has been put in a nursal in the motto of the twin organization, Atmano Moksartam Jagat Hitayacha, for one's own salvation and for the welfare of the world, formulated by Swami Vivekananda himself. M. Preaching and practice of eternal religion as embodied in the lives and teachings of Sri Ramakrishna, Swami Vivekananda, and Holy Mother Saruda Devi. Motto, renunciation and service, harmony of all religions in the world. Method, work and uh, worship simultaneously. As on 7th March 2022, Ramakrishna, Mott, and Mission have 265 branches center of all over the world. Of this, 198 centers are in India and the remaining 67 are in 24 other countries. Of this, 14 in the USA. Further, there are 44 sub-centers, 14 within India and 30 outside India, functioning under the above branch centers. Federico Mayer, the Director General of UNESCO, said, when I went through the constitution of Ramakrishna Mission that was drawn by Sami Vivekananda in 1897, I was surprised to see that, that 
the constitution was exactly similar to the constitution drawn up by UNESCO in 1945. Vivekananda, service to mankind is the motto behind the all centers of Ramakrishna mission. Swami Vivekananda has explained that this is the gist of all waksit to be pure and to do good to others. He also said, if you want to find God, serve man. The national ideals of India are renunciation and service. Intensify her in those channels and the rest will take care of itself. My whole ambition in life is to set in motion machinery which will bring noble ideals to the door of everybody. Then let men and women settle their own fate. Let them know what our forefathers as well as other nations have thought on the most momentous question of life. We are to put the chemicals together. The crystallization will be done by nature according to her laws. Keep the motto before you, elevation of masses without injuring their religion. This 125 years is the journey of service to humanity and is the guiding light of journey for hundred and hundred years. I end here after praying full tributes to Holy Trio, Sri Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ma Saruda Devi and Shami Vivekananda. Thanks all of you for very patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. That was uh, Honorable Principal Maharaj, uh, revered Shami Kamalasthananda, Principal Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda Centenary College, Rahora. It's time for a book release, uh, a book named uh, Shami Vivekananda, Modern Science and Education with ISBN number, will be published today. And the book release will be done by Honorable American Consulate General, uh, Melinda Pavek and uh, revered Shwami Gyanalakananda, Honorable Secretary Ramakrishna Mission, Swami Vivekananda's Anc Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata. Thank you. That is a book uh, with ISBN number, Shomi Vivekananda, Modern Science and Education. I would like to request now Honorable American Consulate General, Melinda Pavek, to have a speech and interaction with students. But before she comes, I'd like to introduce her. Consul General, um, Honorable Consul General uh, Melinda Pavek began her assignment at the US Consulate General Kolkata, India from August 12, 2021. Raised in Minnesota and now a resident of uh, Wyoming, Melinda earned a master's degree in business administration in operation, supply chain, and strategy from the Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota. Melinda earned her bachelor's of arts degree from Augustana College in political science, economics, and Asian studies. Her earlier assignments included 
Counselor, Counselor of Science, Innovation and Development, U.S. Embassy, Tokyo, Supervisory General Service Officer, U.S. Embassy, Islamabad, Pakistan, and Deputy Chief of Mission, U.S. Embassy, Bandar Seri, Begawan, Brunei. She also served overseas in Nepal, Kathmandu, Jamaica, Iraq, Pakistan, as well as on domestic assignments in Washington, D.C. as Special Assistant to the Assistant Secretary for Administration. Melinda Pavik became a Foreign Service Officer with the Department of State in 2004. Before joining the Foreign Service, Melinda worked for Johnson & Johnson as a supply chain senior analyst, was a consultant and project manager who implemented quality management system using Six Sigma process, improvement methodologist, and ISO 9000 standards, and taught English as a second language in Miyagi, Japan. I would like to request Madam to come and have a speech. Good afternoon. Oh, come on. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. My name is Melinda Pavic, and I am the Consul General at the US Consulate General here in Kolkata. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. And I would like to also sincerely thank Swami Kamal Astananda for inviting me as a special guest in commemoration of the 125th anniversary of the Ramakrishna Mission and the 79th Foundation Day of the Ramakrishna Mission Boys Home. I'm thrilled to be here, and as always, I am so happy to be in a room full of leaders, especially young leaders. What an incredible journey your institution has made in a relatively short amount of time. From a small orphanage in 1944 to an institution with more than 4,000 students studying at the undergraduate and postgraduate level in STEM, the social sciences, and skills enhancement programs. It is truly an inspiring journey. The U.S. partnership with India is similarly an inspiring and consequential journey. It has been and continues to be strengthened by the deep bonds between our peoples, including the four million Indian Americans who live and work in the United States. Many of them, as you know, are distinguished Bengali Americans who are very impressive trailblazers. We all know that on September 11, 1893, Swami Vivekananda electrified the audience at the Parliament of World Religions in Chicago with his inspiring speech. In doing so, he introduced India and its people, its culture, its religions and philosophies to the people of the United States like no other emissary from India had done before. Swami Vivekananda's visit to the United States ushered in a new era, one in East-West understanding, and unknowingly opened a new chapter in the history of Bengali immigration to North America. In the years and decades that followed, many Bengali intellectuals visited the United States, and some decided to call my nation home. The door for U.S.-India cultural exchange that was opened by Swavi Vivekananda and his fellow monks from Calcutta was followed by a steady stream of students and scholars from both India and the United States. I feel proud to be a part of this lineage at the U.S. Consul General as with you, with you as part of your 125th centenary celebrations. 2022 is a momentous year for both the U.S. relationship with India, the nation of India, and also the city of Kolkata. This year, the United States and India are celebrating the 75th anniversary of our country's diplomatic relations. 2022 also marks the 230th anniversary 
of Benjamin Joy being nominated by the first U.S. President George Washington to be the first U.S. Consul to Kolkata in 1792. As two of the world's oldest and largest democracies, we continue to engage at the bilateral, regional, and global levels to deepen our cooperation on the issues that are most vital to our people. These include countering the climate crisis, deploying clean energy, improving the health and growing the prosperity of our people, bolstering our security and democracies, and upholding a free, open, rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific. As we emerge from the shadow of the pandemic, I want to acknowledge the young people worldwide who have been badly affected by COVID's educational and socioeconomic impacts. I also want to applaud those who have been active in their emergency responses at the family, local community, national, and global levels during these trying times and beyond. What we do for others helps us to make the world a better place and make us better, wiser people. Our democracies have always learned from each other, with our people-to-people -people ties making us wiser and more constructive partners. Although the consulate is based in Kolkata, our consular district is vast and diverse, with five international borders. Consulate engagement reaches into remote corners of the east and northeast region of India, including 11 states, the seven sister states of the northeast, Sikkim, Bihar, Jharkhand, and West Bengal. Our work is equally vast and diverse. It includes raising awareness to prevent trafficking in persons, promoting women's economic empowerment and entrepreneurship, supporting the rights of marginalized people, including the health and welfare of LGBTQ plus and tribal communities, promoting U.S. higher education, providing English language and leadership programs for youth, forging trade, economic, security, and cultural connections across the Indo-Pacific region, and promoting the shared values that keep our democracy strong, like the freedom of speech, the freedom of the media, and freedom of and freedom from religion. A key reason for our partnership vitality and success is young leaders like you. I think of it like the roots of a tree. The energy and curiosity of youth through exchanges, people-to-people -people dialogues in person and on social media, your engagement in building policy frameworks and doing inclusive development work, all of these form new root tendrils that weave around those roots grown by generations that have come before you. Some tendrils find fertile soil and branch out in new directions, becoming a new area for future generations to strengthen. And the roots of the tree are what sustains the health and beauty of the branches and the leaves, and what helps to clean our environment of carbon dioxide and keeps our planet livable for humankind. One piece of evidence of the strength of our roots is in the extraordinary growth in our economic ties, with trade exploding from about $20 billion in 2001 to over $145 billion in 2019. And despite the two years of the pandemic, trade was at $113 billion in 2021. The U.S. is India's largest trading partner and was in 2021. And between January and June of 2022, overall bilateral trade already stands at $67 billion, with U.S. exports to India at $23 billion and Indian exports to the United States at $44 billion. So we have very, very active economic ties. Another significant piece of evidence is our ever-increasing educational and cultural connections. Decisions about studies in the United States for Indian students and India for U.S. students are conversations that occur not only between our president and prime minister, but also in the individual walls of our own homes. 
Of the 914,000 international students who chose to study in the United States in the 2021-2022 academic school year, more than 18% of them were from India, just over 167,000 students. And we predict there will be even larger numbers for this upcoming school year. But why are Indian students flocking to study in the United States? With thousands of academic programs, world-class institutions, and unmatched flexibility, the United States offers a wealth of opportunity. These flows of people and knowledge further strengthen cooperation and build even stronger tree root tendrils. Two flagship programs, Fulbright Fellowships and the International Visitor Leadership Program are ways that we support and encourage these flows. It is my strong belief that an international experience should be a part of every person's education, whatever their goals, socioeconomic status, or field of study. Many of you are interested in going on for higher education. In doing so, you will experience new perspectives, learn how to navigate different cultures, work with diverse peers, and communicate in other languages. Whether you are a future innovator, entrepreneur, engineer, scientist, doctor, journalist, teacher, or diplomat, these are the experiences that will build the skills that will prepare you to solve the world's toughest challenges, that will make you more competitive in the job market, and that will transform you into an even more responsible, engaged citizen. Many people in my generation like to bash people of your generation. That is not a new phenomenon, but it is not a, an approach that I like to take. I prefer to be intensely curious about the experiences that you have had that have helped to shape the mindset that your generation will become known for. Are you a part of the millennial cohort or Gen Z? In either case, your generations are the most educated in history with access to so much more technology and information than prior generations had when they were growing up. That has given you a unique perspective, both positively and negatively. According to a Deloitte survey, Gen Zs and Millennials are deeply concerned about the state of the world and actively trying to balance the challenges of everyday lives with the desire to drive societal change. They are struggling with financial concerns while trying to invest in environmentally sustainable choices. They feel burnt out while still taking on second jobs and pushing for more purposeful and more flexible work. They press their employers to tackle climate change particularly when it comes to efforts that they can get directly involved in. And they have inspired organizations to take action to address workplace mental health challenges. What is most curious to me about this summary of Gen Z and millennials is that I would have written the same words myself in my life experiences when I was 18 to 30 years old. As much as the world changes for the better or worse, human beings and our thought processes remain almost exactly the same. It has always been the young people like you who have your mind set to doing something and just do it with courage, imagination, and an appetite for adventure. Only you can define what success looks like for you and chart the path toward it. No matter how much loving advice you get from your parents or from people like me, you are the actor. I am reminded of the famous quote from Swami Vivekananda, take up one idea, make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it, live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. What inspiring words. I am truly curious to hear from you about what success means to you and what ideas inspire you. Traditionally, the image of success that so many have been striving for 
has been a prestigious job title, a comfortable salary, a big house, a snazzy car, um, exotic travels around the world. We are bombarded by those images on social media where people are doing the human thing and presenting their shiniest self. But for many, that image is superficial and the shiny wears off very quickly. Today, I want to talk about success because the actual definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. By thinking of it this way, you can focus on defining your goals in a way that is meaningful to you and that will bring you fulfillment. I personally love to read. I have loved to read since I was a child. I strongly encourage each of you to embrace reading as a path to success, no matter how you define success. For help getting the most out of reading books, I recommend the book, Read to Lead by Jeff Brown and Jesse Wisniewski. As I conclude, I want to share three messages and three other books that I believe are useful to achieving personal and professional success. Of course, there is the book that we released today, which is the first one that you should read. But the first book I'm going to introduce you to is a message about leadership. To me, leadership is not about titles, status, or power over people. Leaders are those who hold themselves accountable for recognizing the potential in people and ideas and developing that potential. When we dare to lead, we don't pretend that we have the right answers. We stay curious and ask the right questions. Brene's, Brene Brown's book, Dare to Lead, is a wonderful book to help explore this concept. The second message is about courage and the importance of self-belief and sticking to one's values. Often things do not turn out as we expect and we are faced with choices. These are times when we need to have courage and trust in ourselves, our values, and our abilities. It is important to remind ourselves to persevere in the face of adversity and carry on with self-belief through our discomfort. Sometimes you need a reminder that you are okay just the way you are. Instead of running on the spinning hamster wheel, thinking about all the things that you want to change about yourself, step off and take a moment to be loving, compassionate, and rejuvenate. Talk to yourself like you would talk to a dear friend, not as a harsh critic, and do this regularly so that you don't miss meeting the excellent person that you are. Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, is a great read for defining a life based on value and principles. And while self-belief is important, everyone has moments when they need encouragement. This brings me to my third message of creating a support system and exploring the world and power of networking. Cultivating and maintaining a thoughtful support system will benefit you throughout your life. Do not think about networking as transactional, but rather as transformational. If you would like to learn more about this, I encourage you to read the book, Never Eat Alone by, Ken, or by Keith Ferrazzi. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here today to connect with you during this important anniversary and to share some ideas about how I hope that your generation and mine can be inspired to make the world an even better place and the US-India relationship even stronger one person and one tree root tendril at a time. Thank you so much. Madam, Madam, it's supposed to be our interactive session, so uh, I would like to request uh, uh, any of you, if you have any questions, you can ask, and uh, Madam uh, will answer.
Do we have any questions? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. A very good afternoon, ma'am. Let him, let him, let him ask the question. Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. First of all, thank you for such an enthusiastic and thrilling session. It was so enlightening and overwhelming to hear so much knowledgeable information for you. So I have two questions. Can I ask? Yeah. So first of all, you mentioned about studying abroad and such thing. So. I would like to ask if someone don't know about anything, how to approach U.S. or how to study in U.S., what shall be the step-by-step -step process so that he can know more about foreign studies and what are the scopes of opportunities to study in U.S.? And my second question is, it, with the advent of entrepreneurship, India has new young minds who are aspiring to be new entrepreneurs with new ideas and incarnate new, new thoughts into reality. So for so, so, as you mentioned about supply chain and such things, I would like to ask if someone is not into product business but service business like marketing solutions and he has a startup. So, what shall be the step by step process to create means that supply chain? Is that networking? Is that like cold emails? So, what shall be the step by step process to that? Thank you. Marvelous. Thank you very much for your great questions. So, question number one was about how should a student who is interested in studying in the United States explore that idea? Um, we have a wonderful group at the American uh, Center here in Kolkata called um, Education USA. And Education USA has education advisors who will freely talk to any student who is interested in exploring um, a US education. They have wonderful resources that can help to narrow down of the 4,500 schools in the United States, which one is the right school for you? So they can talk to you about, their, about your interests and uh, they can help you to identify some schools that you can research um, to identify in a short group which one you're interested in and, and make those applications. They also do, um, because of the pandemic, during the pandemic, they learn to do virtual programs. So they have um, many different programs that you can um, participate in, um, including ones about um, applying for schools, taking the tests to get into schools in the US if they have tests, um, writing essays for the applications. There's many different um, programs that they do. So the best way to find information and get in touch with the Education USA team is to look at the US Consulate General Kolkata website or to follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and I'm also on LinkedIn. So feel free to connect with me there and I can send you the links. So that's question number one. Question number two is if you are um, interested in doing entrepreneurship and if you're interested in marketing specifically, what's the best way to build your, your supply chain in order to be successful? First of all, I think that one of the things that you have as a student at this school is you have an amazing network of alumni, not only in India and all over India, but also all over the world, including in the United States. So I would say the first thing I would do if I was you is I would do informational interviews with the people who are in the alumni network who are doing marketing or doing um, things that are similar to marketing, whether it's product development um, or are doing things where they are doing sales. Doing informational interviews with them and finding out from their experience what would they recommend that you focus on, what were things that were successful for them, what are things that weren't successful for them. Often we learn most um, about what we shouldn't do sometimes than what we really can do now. Um, because as I said, the more the world changes, the more it stays the same. So that's the first thing I would do, is I would network with the alumni and get information. Um, the next thing I would do is actually consciously work to build your network. And that can be a lot of different ways. Um, uh, beyond your um, alumni, 
those alumni have people that are important to them that might not be alumni. So building your network when you have an interview or a conversation with someone, say, I'm, thank you so much for your time. Who else would you recommend that I speak to? And would you mind making an introduction for me? That can help you to get more information. Um, and then I would say that one thing about entrepreneurship is it's something that you can do at any time in your life. So personally, I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Um, and in addition to the jobs that I've had that were talked about in my bio, I have also done some entrepreneurship roles along the way. Um, I find that entrepreneurship is a great way to learn skills, especially leadership skills. Um, but sometimes it needs to um, follow a traditional career path as well. And especially when you're young, you might have to have a regular career and then be building your entrepreneurship dream on top of it or along the side of it. Uh, because sometimes it takes a while for an entrepreneurial dream to really become a reality. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we have a question from you. Good afternoon, ma'am. I was uh, uh, wanting to uh, ask a question that uh, a, a student, uh, an Indian student who wants to study in the US, if, for, if uh, he loses his, if he loses or he is robbed of his Indian passports and legal documents, then how could the US embassy help him? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said at the, the last part. What if an uh, Indian student who is uh, Want, aspiring to study there, who is living there for the moment, and if he, if he loses or he is robbed of his Indian passports and legal documents, then how could the U.S. Embassy can help him? So if a, a student who, an Indian student who is studying in the U.S. loses his passport and his documents there, how can the, um, the U.S. Yes, embassy yes. help him? Yes. So actually, um, if, if a student is in the United States, it would be the Indian embassy that would assist um, in helping to um, return, or helping to uh, get the, a new passport. Um, and it would also be a student that, depending on how they lost their passport, would need to um, would need to uh, contact the consulate where they got their visa and notify them of the loss, and then would also need to. Um, uh, make arrangements to get a new um, to get a new appointment to get a new visa stamped in their passport the next time they came back to India. So those are the things. I guess if it was a loss that was uh, because of a theft, then they it would they would also need to generally report that to the police in order to demonstrate um, to the uh, Indian embassy or Indian consulate that they. Um, had a theft, but I have to admit, I don't know the Indian Embassy or Indi Indian Consulate rules, so I would advise you to look at the website for those, um, those entities, or the MEA website. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Oh, oh, there's one. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, my, uh, I have one question, and uh, that's regarding those scholarships. Yes. Uh, studying in the U.S. is quite expensive, I think. So are there any exams we can give, or scholarship exams, which are available for either MSc or PhD degrees to go there? Of course, thank you very much for the question. Yes, studying in the United States can be expensive. Um, as for there being specific tests for exams, um, I'm not aware that there are tests that allow you to get exams. That's not usually, or sorry, that are tests that allow you to get scholarships. That's not the normal process in the United States. Most scholarships are given based on um, financial need. And so depending on the, the university that you're applying to, um, they will evaluate the resources that you and your family are able to contribute, and they'll evaluate the cost of, of attending their institution, and then they will look within their resources, whether it's their alumni network um, or uh, financial aid that might be available, and they will uh, give you suggestions. Many students in the United States work while they're going to school, and so that's a part of the uh, financial aid that they receive. But then there are also um, many institutions, and I would encourage you to look specifically at the Indian American institutions or um, 
uh, foundations in the United States. Many of those have scholarships where they would like to support um, Indian students who would like to study in the United States. So again, the Education USA team has some information about some of the most commonly known scholarships. Um, but you can also, of course, leverage your networking, which you mentioned earlier, among your alumni. One thing I would advise as you're looking at schools, though, is that there are some very famous US universities that get many, many, many Indian student applications. And then there are many wonderful universities that don't get as many Indian student applications um, and have excellent programs as well. So sometimes if you look at some of the smaller schools or the less well-known schools, um, you'll be able to get better scholarships um, if they are hoping to expand the number of Indian students that are a part of their students, student group. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, this another short question uh, yeah. following you on. What benefit will a country get by inviting foreign students to their country? What does a country get by inviting foreign students? To their own country. To their own country. Well, one of the things that we know is that when we have different people from different backgrounds and different perspectives in, in classes, we learn a lot about the way different people look at the world. So what American students get by having international students in classes is by the opportunity to learn about how things are done in India, how things are done in other countries. And of course, India is a very diverse place. The way things that are, are done in West Bengal is different than the way things are done in Mumbai, is different than the way things are done in the Northeast. So again, the having students from India across different parts of India can help uh, American students and other people in the school to understand more about the 1.3 billion people in India and how they think similarly and how they think differently. Um, and having that diversity of perspectives really adds innovation. So um, if I sit down and think of, look at a problem myself, everything, every solution I come up with is going to be about, it's going to be from my experience. But if you and I sit down and look at a problem, I'm going to have ideas, you're going to have ideas, and when we talk about those ideas, we're going to have a whole third group of ideas that comes up. And so that's the value that one gets from having international students or people from different perspectives in a classroom together. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much for uh, this wonderful interactive session. Uh, we'll move on to the next uh, uh, program. It is instru instrumental music. We'll be listening to an instrumental music, a violin recitation, recital by Rudrat uh, Chakraborty. In Tabla, we have uh, Deba Brato Show.
That's wonderful. Just now, we have listened to violin by uh, Rudraditya Chakraborty and at Tabla we had Devabrata sir. Now it's time for another speech, speech by revered Swami Gyanalokananda, Honorable Secretary Ramakrishna Mission, Swami Vivekananda's Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata. Respectful greetings to Melinda Pavekji, Honorable American Consulate General. My love, respect, and best wishes to Kamalastan Andaji. I am beholden to Kamalastanji for having me here amidst this energetic young man to address and I convey my love, respect, and regards to honorable learned teachers, staff of these institutions, and honorable guests. I will begin with a universal prayer, my deliberations. This goes like this. Nandantu Sarvabhutani Snehantu Bijane Shapi Shwastiyastu Sarvabhuteshu Niratankani Santucha Shivamastu Dijatinam Pritirastu Parasparam Samriddhi Sarvabhananam Siddhirastu Cha Karmanam Apurva Sundar Ekti Sarvajanin Prarthana Mantra, which is called Nandantu Sarvabhutani, Samastha Pranijana Anandalabkare, Snihantu Bijaneshwapi, Bijan Pradeshegiyo Ake Aparke Jano Snehakare, Snihantu Bijaneshwapi, Swastiyastu Sarvabhuteshu, Samastha Pranijana Swastilabkare, Niratankani Santucha, क्यों जानो जगते आतंक की तो बहुत ना करें। शिव मस्तु दिजाती नाम, दिजाती माने अमर जानी ब्राह्मण, इन्तु सब देशे, सब धर्मे ये ब्राह्मणे रा रोएचन। कारा से ये ब्राह्मण, वो महाग्यानी महाजान, जेपथ करे गमन, होएचन प्रातः शरणियो, से ही पद लक्ष्य करे, शिव कीर्ति धजा धरे, अमर अहबो बरोनियो, ये ऐ ब्राह्मणे राजनो भालो था केन इरा भालो था क्ले आम्रे साधारण मानुष भालो था गबो आमदे जोखन स्कॉलन पतन हबे तो खोन तारा आमदे मार्गो दर्शन कर बेन शिवमस्तु दिजाती नाम प्रीति रस्तु परस्पर माम्रे जनो परस्पर परस्पर के प्रीति करी समृद्धि सर्वबाणा नाम समस्त बाणे मानुषे जनो समृद्धिया से काउ के जनो सिद्धि रस्तु चा कर्मनाम जेकुनो मंगल कर्म जेकुनो देशे जेकुनो धर्मे मानुष शुरू करले शे इ मंगल कर्म कर्मटी जनो जायजुक्त है कुनो कुनो छात्र बंधु ऐकोन कथा बोलचे आमी बोली एक ती सुंदर कथा कथा निये कथा अमा संगे एक तू बोल बे तुमरा मतलब स्पीच ही सिल्वर बात Silence is gold. Hints बजाय जाच्छे। अमरे जो दी भालो कथा बोलते परी, शेठा निश्चय ही मूल्यवान। किन्तु शांतो थका, निरोग थका, आरोबेशी मूल्यवान, शेठी अच्छे सोनार मतों मूल्यवान। इखने अनरेवन कल्चरल जनरेस की भावे कथा बोलेचन, मूल्यवान कथा बोलेचन, अमरे मंदिर सुने ची। किंतु बला हच्चे ज्योतो भालो कथा बोली शेटी रूपोर मतोन मूल्यवान किंतु आमी तुमी जो दी चुप थकते परी शांतो थकते परी शेटा शोनार मतोन मूल्यवान अरे आज क्या जे इखने एक्शन पचीर बस रामकृष्ण मार्ट मिशन है रामकृष्ण मिशन प्रतिष्ठा एवं ये बॉयज होमे राज के जन्मो दिन फर्स्ट सितंबर सेवेंटी 
এই জন্মদিনে আজকে একটা গুরুত্বপূর্ণ দিন মার যেখানে আলোচনা সভার আয়োজন করেছেন কিছু শিক্ষা নেবার জন্য আমরা কখন শিখি কখন শিখি না এই জিনিসটা আমাদের স্পষ্ট ধারণা থাকা দরকার কি বলা হচ্ছে একসঙ্গে বলবে ইউ লার্ন নাথিং হোয়াইল ইউ আর টকিং আমরা দেখো কথা বলার সময় কিছু কি শিখতে পারি কথা বলার সময় শিখতে পারি না যে বন্ধুরা কথা বলছিল তাদের কাছ থেকে আজকে শিক্ষা নেব কেমন আচরণ করতে হয় না আর যে বন্ধুরা খুব মনোযোগ দিয়ে শুনছে তাদের কাছ থেকেও শিক্ষা নেব কেমন আচরণ করতে হয় সব কিছুই আমরা ইতিবাচকভাবেই দেখব কিন্তু মনে রাখতে হবে টাইম ওয়েস্টেড ইজ লাইফ ওয়েস্টেড টাইম ম্যানেজমেন্ট ইজ লাইফ ইনভেস্টমেন্ট দিন যায় ক্ষণ যায় সময় কাহারও নয় বেগে ধায় নাহি রহে স্থির সহায় সম্পদ বল সকলি ঘুচায় কাল আয়ু যেন সই বালেন নির ছেলেবেলা থেকে কবিতা পড়া আচা নিশ্চয়ই মৌমাছি কি সময় নষ্ট করে এখন আমি জিজ্ঞেস করব যে ভাইরা কথা বলছিলে তুমি যখন কথা বলার কথা তখন যদি কথা বলতে পারো সেটা তোমার শক্তি কিন্তু যখন কথা বলার কথা নয় তখন যদি কথা বলো সেটা শক্তি না দুর্বলতা নিজে ভাববে আমি এখন তোমাকে কথা বলার সুযোগ করে দেব সেই বিখ্যাত কবিতা সময়ের মূল্য নিয়ে যেখানে বলা হচ্ছে মৌমাছি সময় নষ্ট করে না মৌমাছি মৌমাছি কেউ একজন বললে বাকি অংশটা পূরণ করলে আমি খুশি হব অত্যন্ত সহজ অত্যন্ত সহজ বদ্ধ মৌমাছি মৌমাছি কোথা যাও নাচি নাচি তারপরের অংশটা কে বলবে একটু হাত তুলবে এখন বলার সুযোগ দেওয়া হচ্ছে বলো ভাই হ্যাঁ দাঁড় না না শেষ করতে দাও তারপরে না ওকে বলতে দাও এখন সকালে বললে হবে না এখন ওরটা ইট ইজ হিজ টার্ন নাও দেখো সহজ কথা না যায় কওয়া সহজে এত তো কথা বলছিলে এখন দেখো কথা বলার জন্য বলছি এতজন বিগ অ্যাসেম্বলি বাট উই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ দ্যাট মাচ কনফিডেন্স টু আটার টু স্পিক আউট দ্য সো সিম্পল অ্যান্ড সো ভ্যালুয়েবল এ প্রো ভাই ভার্স নাইস পয়েম মৌমাছি মৌমাছি কোথা যাও নাচি নাচি দাঁড়াও না একবার ভাই ওই ফুল ফুটে বনে যাই মধু আহরণে দাঁড়াবার সময় তো নাই ছোট পাখি ছোট পাখি কিচিমিচি ডাকি ডাকি কোথা যাও বলে যাও শুনি এখন না কব কথা আনিয়া চিত্রণলতা আপনার বাসা আগে বুনি পিপিলিকা পিপিলিকা দল বল ছাড়িয়ে গা কোথা যাও যাও ভাই বলি শীতের সঞ্চয়ে চাই খাদ্য খুঁজিতে চিতাই ছয় পায়ে পিল পিল চলি অত্যন্ত সহজ কি না অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ কি না ভাইটি আসবে তুমি উঠে বলেছ সেজন্য তোমাকে আমি সম্মান জানাবো আমার এই অতিথির সম্মানটি তোমার গলে আমি তুলে দিতে পারলে আমি আনন্দিত বোধ ও তবু উঠে এতজনের মধ্যে কিন্তু বলার চেষ্টা করেছে একবার শুনেছে এখনই কিন্তু সে বলতে পারবে আমরা দেখো একটা জিনিস আজকে আমি বলবো এখানে সামনে চলে এসো যেটি বলছিলাম যে আমরা কঠিন জিনিস শেখার জন্য অনেক চেষ্টা করি অনেক সময় শ্রম স্বীকার করি কঠিন জিনিস শিখতে পারি না কিন্তু সহজ যেগুলো শেখা জিনিস সেগুলো আমরা কিন্তু উপস্থাপন করতে পারছি না এ সম্বন্ধে আজকে সচেতন হতে হবে তোমার আমার হয়ে অন্য কেউ কিন্তু পরীক্ষা দেয়নি ইন্টারভিউ দিতে গেলে তুমি কথা বলতে পারছ না কেন তুমি যে জানো না তা নয় তুমি ভুলে গেছো তুমি কত কি জানো টুয়েলভ পর্যন্ত পাশ করার পরে তো 
কলেজে এসছো কতগুলো বছর ধরে কত শিক্ষা হয়েছে তুমি ইউ আর নট অ্যাওয়ার অ্যাবাউট ইট প্রচুর শিক্ষা হয়েছে কিন্তু সেটা তোম সম্বন্ধে তুমি সচেতন নও এই সচেতনতা ফিরিয়ে আনতে হবে আমি বলবো এটা হলে তোমার অনেক শিক্ষা হয়েছে এবং ছোট ছোট জিনিস আমি তুমি অবহেলা অবজ্ঞা করছি বলে শিখতে পারছি না আমি বলবো ছোট ছোট জিনিস তুমি যেগুলো তোমার শেখা জিনিস লিখে রাখো দেখবে তুমি প্রচুর শিখেছো প্রচুর জানো আমি বলবো এক এক মিনিটে এক একটি মূল্যবান কথা আমি তুমি শিখতে পারি কিন্তু দেখবে এক এক বছরে একটি ভালো কথা শিখছি না এখনই যদি বলি তুমি টুয়েলভ পাস করে এখানে এসছো আচ্ছা দশটা ভালো কথা বছরে একটা ভালো কথা শিখেছো প্রমাণ করো এখানে মাইকে এসে বলতে হয় পর্ব দশটা ভালো কথা নির্ভুলভাবে তুমি বলবে কজন আমরা শুধু ছোটরা বলে না বড়রা পর্যন্ত কতজন আমরা কনফিডেন্স নিয়ে বলতে পারবো কি পরিমাণ সময় নষ্ট করছি আমরা ঠিক কি না এটা সম্বন্ধে বলবো খুব সচেতন হতে হবে আমি বলবো এই কথাটা বলো হেল্প এভার হার্ট নেভার হেল্প এভার হার্ট নেভার অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ অত্যন্ত ছোট্ট শিক্ষণ নিয়ে এক মিনিটে আমি বলতে পারি এই কথাটাই আমি একটু মনে রেখে চলি অ্যালার্ট টুডে অ্যান্ড অ্যালাইভ টুমোরো অ্যালার্ট টুডে অ্যান্ড অ্যালাইভ টুমোরো স্বামীজি বলছেন বি অ্যান্ড মেক আমাদের নিজেদের তৈরি হতে হবে এবং অন্যকে তৈরি করতে হবে বি গুড অ্যান্ড ডু গুড কতক্ষণ লাগলো দেখো শুধুমাত্র এই একটি শিক্ষা যদি আমাদের হয় বি গুড আমরা ভালো হব অ্যান্ড ডু গুড ভালো কাজ করব এটা হলে গোটা জগৎ সুন্দর হয়ে যায় না আমি বলবো এরকম অতি ছোট্ট শিক্ষণীয় কথাগুলো আমি তুমি যদি পরপর শিখতে থাকবি বলা হয়েছে জলবিন্দু নিপাত এ ন ক্রমশ কুড়িয়তে ঘট স ক্রম সর্ববিদ্যানাম ধর্ম চ ধনস্য চ মানে কি বিন্দু বিন্দু জল পড়তে পড়তে একটি ঘট ভরে যায় একসময় বলছে সেরকমভাবে আমরা বিদ্যা ধর্ম এবং ধন লাভ করব সময় নষ্ট করব না আর সময় নিয়ে আরও যদি একটু আলোচনা করা যায় বলবে এক বছরের মূল্য কে বুঝতে পারে ফেল করা ছাত্র এক নম্বর এক মাসের মূল্য কে বুঝতে পারে সেই মা এক মাস আগে সন্তানের জন্মদান করেছেন এক পক্ষ পনেরো দিন তার মূল্য কে বুঝতে পারে পাক্ষিক পত্রিকার সম্পাদক এক সপ্তাহে পত্রিকা বার করতে হবে এক দিনের মূল্য যে দিন মজুর কাজ পায়নি ভেবে দেখো রুজি রোজগার হ্যাঁ বাড়িতে সবাই বসে আছে গৃহকর্তা উপার্জন করে চাল ডাল তেল নুন কিনে বাড়ি ফিরবে তিনি কাজ পেলেন না তিনি বুঝতে পারেন এক দিনের মূল্য কত এক মিনিটের মূল্য কে বুঝতে পারে যাত্রী দৌড়ে দৌড়ে হাওড়া স্টেশনে গিয়ে দেখতে ট্রেনটা বেরিয়ে চলে যাচ্ছে এক মিনিট আগে এলে ট্রেনটি ধরতে পারত এক সেকেন্ডের মূল্য কে বুঝতে পারে বলেছে অলিম্পিকের সেকেন্ড প্রাইজ সিলভার মেডেল পেয়েছে আর এক সেকেন্ড ভালো সময় করতে পারলে তিনি দ্রুততম ব্যক্তি হতেন সেই জন্য সুন্দরভাবে বলা হচ্ছে সময় সম্বন্ধে আমাদের ভীষণভাবে সচেতন হতে হবে বিদ্যাভাস ও বিচার অস্ত্র সময় রে এব শোভ হতে বিবাহ অস্ত্র বিবাদ অস্ত্র সময় রে এব শোভ হতে ব দিয়ে চারটে কথা বলেছি কেউ যদি বলতে পারে ওরকম আবার একটা উপহার দেবো আবার বলছি বিদ্যাভাস বিচার অস্ত্র সময় রে এব শোভ হতে বিবাহ অস্ত্র বিবাদ অস্ত্র সময় রে এব শোভ হতে ব দিয়ে চারটে কথা হ্যাঁ ভাই বলো একদম ঠিক চলে আসবে
দেখো সবার খুব আনন্দ হচ্ছে নিশ্চয় একবার শুনে কিন্তু বলে দিয়েছে চারটে কথা অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ সবগুলো হচ্ছে সময় মেনে চলতে হয় আমি অনুভব সামন্ত এবং ফার্স্ট ইয়ার ফার্স্ট সেম মাইক্রোবায়োলজি ডিপার্টমেন্ট চারটে কথা বলেছি বিদ্যা ভাস বিচারশ্চ সময় রেব শোভতে বিবাহশ্চ বিবাদশ্চ সময় রেব শোভতে বিদ্যা লাভের সময় আছে প্রথম পঁচিশ বছরের মধ্যে বিদ্যা লাভ না হলে তুমি কিন্তু এরপরে বিদ্যা লাভ ভীষণ কঠিন ঠিক কি না অস্বীকার করতে পারবে বিদ্যা লাভের সময় আছে বিদ্যা ভাস বিচার অস্ত্র বিচার মানে হচ্ছে দেখবে বাংলায় কথা আছে ভাবিয়া করিও কাজ করিয়া ভাবিও না পরে আমরা পশ্চাত্তাপ করি ইস এরকম করলাম এটা নয় বিদ্যা ভাস বিচার অস্ত্র সময় রে বসে বিবাহশ্চ বিবাদশ্চ সময় রে বসে বলছি বিয়ে করার সময় আছে যখন তখন বিয়ে করলে হবে না হ্যাঁ কলেজে এলেই একটা কথা বলে লাভ অ্যাট ফার্স্ট সাইড কিন্তু লাভ অ্যাট ফার্স্ট সাইড যত না সত্য তার চাইতে শত গুণে সহস্র গুণে সত্য হচ্ছে ডিভোর্স অ্যাট ফার্স্ট ফাইট অস্বীকার করতে পারবে তাহলে দেখো এটা মনে রাখার কি না লাভ অ্যাট ফার্স্ট সাইট কিন্তু ডিভোর্স অ্যাট ফার্স্ট ফাইট এটা কি সত্যিকারের লাভ সেজন্য কেন বিয়ে ব্যাপারটা টেকে না এটাও ভাববার আছে আবার সেই স্বামী বিবেকানন্দের কাছে আসতে হবে ভুলিও না তোমার বিবাহ তোমার ধন তোমার জীবন ইন্দ্রিয় সুখের নিজের ব্যক্তিগত সুখের জন্য নহে যে বিবাহটা শুধু ইন্দ্রিয় সুখের মাইন্ডেড যে বিয়েটা শুধু ইন্দ্রিয় সুখের ব্যক্তিগত সুখের সে বিয়েটা টেকে না বলছে ম্যারেজ ইটস এ ওয়ান্ডারফুল কেস দোজ হু আর আউট অফ দিস কেস দে ওয়ান্ট টু জাম্প ইন টু ইট বাট দোজ হু হ্যাভ অলরেডি এন্টার্ড ইন টু দ্যাট কেস দে ওয়ান্ট টু জাম্প আউট অফ ইট অস্বীকার করতে পারবে ঠিক কি না বলো এখানটায় ছেলেদের বলা হয় ভেবে চিনতে সমাজের দিকে তাকিয়ে অপূর্ব সুন্দর একটি কথা লেখা হয়েছে এই বিয়ে নিয়ে দেখো বিয়ে যদি করো তুমি নিজেই হবে ভর্তা কিন্তু তুমি দেখবে তোমার গিন্নি হবে কর্তা আছে শেষ হয়নি কিন্তু সত্যটাকে বুঝতে হবে আবার বলছি একটু শান্ত বিয়ে যদি করো তুমি নিজেই হবে ভর্তা কিন্তু তুমি দেখবে তোমার গিন্নি হবে কর্তা কোথায় তোমার স্বাধীনতা কোথায় তোমার ফুর্তি বাড়ি গিয়ে দেখবে তোমার সতীর অগ্নি মূর্তি আজকে যখন রামকৃষ্ণ মিশনের একশো বছর এই প্রতিষ্ঠানের পঁচাত উনআশি বছর এবং তোমার জীবনে নিশ্চয়ই আঠারোটা বছর চলে গেছে তাই তো ভাববে তোমার জীবন থেকে কিন্তু আঠারোটা বছর চলে গেছে তুমি অ্যানিভার্সারি পালন করছো কত কি করছো কিন্তু ভুলে গেছি আমার জীবন থেকে আঠারোটা বছর কেটে গেছে আয়ুর নশ্যতি পশ্চতাম প্রতিদিনম জাতি স্বয়ম যৌবনম প্রত্যায়ান্তি গতা পুনর্ন দিবসা কালো জগদ ভক্ষক লক্ষ্মী স্তূয তরঙ্গ ভঙ্গ চপলা বিদ্যুচ্চলম জীবনম তস্মান মাম শরণাগতম শরণদত্বং রক্ষ রক্ষাধুনা কি সুন্দর ভাবনা ভারতবর্ষে রয়েছে এই শিক্ষাগুলো আমাদেরকে রক্ষা করে কি বলেছে আয়ুর নশ্যতি 
पश्चताम प्रतिदिन प्रतिदिन देखी आयु चले जा आयु सूर्य मोर बहिते छे पाते आयुर नश्यति पश्चताम प्रतिदिन जाति स्वयं जौवनम जौवन क्षय प्राप्त हो प्रत्यागत पुनः न दिवसा जे दिवस चले जाए से प्रत्यागमन करना फिर आसे ना क्यों आनते आगे दिन टे को तपस्या को अर्थ मूल्य फिर आनते पर प्रत्यागत पुनः न दिवस कालो जगत भक्षक काल जगत के ग्रास कर तस्मान माम शरणागतम शरण दत्वम रक्ष रक्षाधुना सेज एक समय क्यों एक अंतर्मुखीन होते निजे जीवन दिखे तकाते हैं प्रत्यहम प्रत्यवेक्षेत नरश्चरित आत्मन किन्नु मे पशुभितुल्यम किन्नु सत्पुरुष प्रतिदिन घूमते उठे उठे निजे चरित्र दिखे एक बार तक तक देखिए तुम्हें जे भाव जीवन जापन कर सत्पुरुष मतन जीवन जापन करा पशुर मतन जीवन जापन कर हमें ईश्वर आल्ला भगवान आशीर्वाद मानुषे जन्मे कंतु अनेक समय मानुषर क्ज करीना पशुर क्ज करते करते एक दिन पशुर मृत्युबरण करी जे ईश्वर आशीर्वाद मानुषे जन्माय मानुषे मृत्युबरण करते पशुर मृत्युबरण कर तर जीवन की कख सफल है शून्य शतम जीवितम अति अल्पम रात्रि तस्धारिणी व्याधि शोक जरा आशय अर्धम तदपि निष्फलम एक सौ बचर बाँचले एक विचार कर शतम जीवितम अति अल्पम महाकाल कब शुरू हो कब कल गए से सब जानिना मात्र एकश बचर समय पे तुम्हें कितु बोल से अति अल्प शतम जीवितम अति अल्पम रात्रि तस्य अर्धहारिणी ए विचार कर दे एक बचर बाँचले रत दिन समान ना पंचाश बचर रात चले जा फिफ्टी पार्सेंट एखे वेस्टेज रात्रि तस्य अर्धहारिणी और कि व्याधि शोक जरा आसे व्याधि है कि ना शोक आना जरा मान बार्धक्य आना शैशवे कत समय चले जाए तो पंचाशे आर्धे कत पचिस बचर से आर कि जापन कर रवींद्रनाथ एसो शुदू दिन जापने शुदू प्राण धारण ग्लानी सरमे डाली निशीदीन रुद्ध घरे क्षुद्र शिखा स्तिमित दीपे धूमांकित कल लाभ क्षति टाना टानी अति सूक्ष्म भग्न अंश भाग कलह संशय सहेना सहेनार जीवन खंड खंड करी द्वंदे द्वंदे क्षय एम एक मानुषे जीवन जापन मान लाभ कर अभी खंडित जीवन जापन कर पूर्णांग जीवन जापन करते कलह संशय ये समय चले गल तेल को जीवनटा सार्थक सफल एक प्रार्थना बोले देखें ये प्रार्थना पूरण हम जीवन सफल है कख बला एक समय बोल आर बोलो जीवन जावद आदानम सियात प्रदानम तथोधिकम इतेशा प्रार्थना अस्माकम भगवन परिपूर्यता एर अर्थ की हे अल्लाह हे भगवान हे ईश्वर तुम्हें ये प्रार्थना पूरण करो जीवने बेचे थार प्रयोजन हमारे माँ बाबार का समाज का प्रकृतर का राष्ट्र का जा ग्रहण कर बेचे थकते ही से माँ बाबा के प्रकृति के राष्ट्र के जान तरह चे बी फिरत दीते सो लंग एज द मिलियन्स डाई इन हांगार एंड इगनोरेंस आई होल्ड एवरी मैन ए ट्रेटर हू हैविंग बीन एडुकेटेड एट देर एक्सपेन्स एंड पे इज नट ए लिस्ट हिट टू देम स्वामीजी बोलान जर अर्थे शिक्षित हो शिक्षा लाभ पाए तर दिखे फिर ना तकाले एक एक जन ट्रेटर हो जाए विश्वासघात पामर हो जाए देशद्रोही जाए यह सम्बन्धे भावते हैं कम जीवन तैरि एंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड मैन एंड उमेन 
fired with the zeal of holiness, fortified with eternal faith in the Lord, and not to lions courage by their sympathy for the poor and the fallen and the downtrodden, will go over the length and breadth of the land, preaching the gospel of salvation, gospel of social raising up, gospel of equality. Some of you teach yourself, teach everyone his real nature. Call upon the sleeping soul and see how it awaits. Power will come, glory will come, goodness will come, purity will come, and everything that is excellent will come when the sleeping soul is roused to self-conscious activity. Nice Jagotaragbo. Tarabopi hi jivanti jivanti mrigapakshina sa jivati mano jasya mano neno hi jivati. E shudhu indriya bhog niye jekuna kukur chagal guru ghada jato shabai indriya bhog niye lingo gujjo nabhi mane tinti star shai jayega samashto prani thakke. Akmatra manus oi nabhi rupade hridaye kanthe bhru madhe mastak shise এতগুলো স্তরে সে উন্নীত হতে পারে সেই জায়গায় যদি আমরা ওই পশুদের মতন থাকি আহার নিদ্রা ভয় মৈথুন অঞ্চ সামান্য মেয়ে তৎ পশুভি নারায়ণাম জ্ঞানম হি তেষাম অধিক বিশেষ জ্ঞানেন হি না পশুভি সমানা ধর্ম হি তেষাম অধিক বিশেষ ধর্মেন হি না পশুভি সমানা এই জ্ঞান আর ধর্মের চর্চা না করলে আমি পশু একবার সুস্পষ্ট ভাবে বলে দিয়েছে আমি কখন সত্যিকারে মানুষ হই কখন পশু যে সাম ন বিদ্যা ন তপো ন দানম জ্ঞানম ন শীলম ন গুণ ন ধর্ম তে মর্ত লোকে ভুবিভার ভূতা মনুষ্য রূপে ন মৃগাশ্চরন্তি বাংলা সহজে আমার মূল্যবোধে ধন্য জীবন বলে একটি বই আছে আমি বলবো প্রতিটি ছাত্রের কাছে এটা থাক তারা যে লাভবান হবে কোনো সংশয় নেই আমি সকলকে অনুরোধ করি ছাত্রদের পড়ানোর জন্য গাইড বুক হিসেবে বইটি রাখতে সেখানে এভাবে সুস্পষ্ট হয়ে বলে দেওয়া হয়েছে কি করলে মানুষ হই জ্ঞান শীল নীতি ধর্ম তপ বিদ্যা দান সপ্তশীলে মনুষ্যত্ব জানীয় সন্ধান সাতটা গুণ থাকলে মানুষ হয় সপ্তশীল ব্রত নর নারায়ণ প্রায় অন্যথা সে ভূমিভার পশু বধ হয় তা না হলে পশু এগুলো নিয়ে এক একটা ব্যাখ্যা অনেক আমি শেষে একটা সময় আছে পাঁচ মিনিট দু মিনিট মাস একটা এবিসি ফর্মুলে এবিসি তো কেউ ভোলার কথা নয় তাই না এবিসি ফর্মুলে আলফাবেট ফর্মুলে তোমরা যদি একটু সময় দাও শুনবে তোমরা মহারাজ না হলে মনে করবেন সাড়ে চারটে হয়তো ছুটি হয়ে যেত সাড়ে চারটে হয়ে গেছে কিন্তু তোমরা সময় দিলে একটুখানি এবিসি কি শিক্ষা দেয় এ ফর অলওয়েজ বি ফর বি সি ফর কেয়ারফুল ঠিক আছে এসি চলছে এবিসি শেখাচ্ছে A for always, B for B, C for cool. Matha thanda kar. Matha thanda kar, matha thanda kar. You have to say matha is cold. When matha is cold, ABC is cold. Always be cool, always be cool, always be cool. And then you have to say, how much is the cold? It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Build one factory in your head that is ice factory. Matha is cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Then build one factory in your mouth that is sweet factory. Mukher mat dekhte mystery kar khana bana be. Tanaole dekbe jato atto hotar ghato na ghate kotha shudju kotte na apni atto hotar kore manush. Then build one factory in your heart that is love factory. Then build one factory in your hand that is skill factory. Then your life will be satisfactory. ठीक है ना एबीसी मने थकले या तो गुलू किंतु ये इम्प्लिकेशन रहे चे ठीक एबीसी आरे एक तो बोला चे एबीसी ए पर अभयेड बी पर बैड सी पर कंपनी अभयेड बैड कंपनी देन एबीसी डीएफ डोंट हैव ईगो फीलिंग डीईएफ डी पर डोंट हैव ई पर ईगो एफ पर फीलिंग DEF, don't have ego feeling, ahamkar korebe na bhalo thakbe. GHI, 
गिव आप हार्टिंग इंडिविजुअल्स का जान आघात ना करे जी एच आई जेके एल एम जस्ट कीप लाभिंग मैनकाइंड जे के एल एम एन ओ पी नेभार ओमिट प्रेयर एन ओ पी क्यू आर क्वाइटली रिमेम्बर गड एस टी स्टिक टू ट्रुथ यू भि डब्ल्यू यूज भैलिड वार्डस अत्यंत गुरुत्वपूर्ण ये कि कथा बोल भेबे बोल देखो ये मुखमंडले देखार जो दुटो चोख शुरार जो दुटो कान बलार जो दुटो मुख आ एक मुख ईश्वर आल्ला सृष्टिर समय दिए देख बसि शो बसि बोल कम यूज भैलिड वार्डस जेटा बोला से अन्कम जान कि बोलना विपद हो जाए जीवे प्रमाणम जानी ही भाषण भोजने पीच अत्युक्ति अति भुक्ति सत्यम प्राणापहारिणी जीव दिए मुख दिए दुटू क्च करी कथा बोली और खबर खाए बसी कथा बोले और जे बसि खबर खाए से तर मंगल करें अमंगल कर भेबे बोल तो जे बसि कथा बोले और जे बसि खबर खाए अमंगल सोजा कथा यूज भैलिड वार्डस ठीक है शेषे एक्स वाइजेड एक्सप्रेस योर जिल यतगुलो तुम्हार प्रिसेप्ट रही है एतगुलो उपदेश रही है एतगुलो तत्व तथ्य तुम्हार रही है एक्सप्रेस योर जिल एन एगुलि के तुम वास्तवित करो बला है इन्सपिरेशन एसपिरेशन एंड पार्सपिरेशन एगुल इन्सपिरेशन पा तर भेतर थे एक आत्मबोध आसबें आगो कार्यकर करते हैं तपर यू आर टू पार्सपायर अध्य बसाय करते एगल के वास्तव में परिणत करते हैं सकले भलो थकबें नमस्कार Thank you, Maharaj. So that was a revered Shami uh, Gyanalokananda, Honorable Secretary Ramakrishna Mission, Shami Vivekananda Ancestral House and Cultural Center, Kolkata. At the epilogue of this uh, Kwasqui Centennial uh, Jubilee celebration, we have a song. I would like to request Gaurav Bondol, Shorna Bhakundu, Ishan Chatterjee, Shyam Dash, Onubhav, Shamanto. to please be on stage at the tabla shubham laha
Request uh, our honourable controller of examination, Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda Centenary College, Rahora, revered uh, Swami Vedana Rugananda, to give away the vote of thanks. Om Namo Bhagavate Ramakrishna Ayam, revered Srimad Swami Nana Lokananda Ji Maharaj respected Honorable Consulate General of USA, Melinda Pavik, revered Principal Maharaj, respected teachers, dear students, and all staff members. Today, at the end of a very illuminating session on the 125 years of Ramakrishna Mission, we are standing at a momentous position where we have received lots of inspiration from our dignitaries, from our honorable speakers today. And so we have heard various inspirational ideas from Honorable uh, Consulate General of USA, Melinda Pavik. She has uh, enumerated the activities of the US Consulate and uh, she has termed you as young leaders, students, and she has stressed on the reading habits and three ha she has also mentioned about three messages which she has uh, felt as the crux of life. One is the message of leadership, one is the message of courage, and one more is regarding encouragement in life. So all these are very valuable in moving forward in life. And then revered Swami Gnana Lokananda Ji Maharaj, he has really infused a real spirit of Swamiji and real spirit of um, encouragement to the students. He has stressed on silence as a treasure in life, proper utilization of time, and the need for repaying back to the society and finally, the need for inspiration, aspiration, and perspiration as the triune of 
human development. So we are really grateful to both of our honorable speakers today on behalf of the entire college, Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Centenary College, Rahara. I express my heartfelt obeisance, respect, and gratitude to both of our speakers, Honorable Consul General of US, Melinda Pavek, and Honorable and revered Srimad Swami Gnana Lokananda Ji Maharaj. And we are also thankful to our student participants for their beautiful presentation of music, instrumental music, vocal music, and also I thank our respected uh, sir, uh, Manas Maulik sir, for conducting this program, and I thank all the teachers and students who have assembled here. Before I end, I would just like to say a few words that one, when we are celebrating the 125 years of the journey of the Ramakrishna Mission, which is perhaps the first multinational organization of India to the world after a long drawn uh, slavery and long drawn uh, spell of darkness. So some have also mentioned Ramakrishna Mission and the Ramakrishna Movement as the gift unopened. And it is perhaps one of the only organizations which could bring science spirituality and service on one platform together and to harmonize all religions and all human efforts which are good and great. So we are really um, uh, very fortunate to be in Ramakrishna Mission, both all of us who are here and it is our uh, mission and motto to carry forward this message of universal love, universal service, universal brotherhood into different nations both in India and abroad. I would like to end with two famous quotations, one by the Nobel laureate Roma Rola on Sri Ramakrishna. So I will just read his words by Roma Rola. Roma Rola is telling about Sri Ramakrishna. I am bringing to Europe, as yet unaware of it, the fruit of a new autumn, a new message of the soul, the symphony of India bearing the name of Ramakrishna. It can be shown that this symphony, like those of our classical masters, is built up of a hundred different musical elements emanating from the past. But the sovereign personality concentrating in himself the diversity of these elements and fashioning them into a royal harmony is always the man who gives his name to the work, though it contains within itself the labor of generations. And with his victorious sign, he makes a new era. He further says, the man whose image I here evoke was the consummation of 2,000 years of the spiritual life of 300 million people. His soul animates modern India. One more famous saying by A.L. Basam, a famous historian on Swami Vivekananda. A.L. Basam says, even now, a hundred years after the birth of Narendranath Datta, who later became Swami Vivekananda, it is very difficult to evaluate his importance in the scale of world history. It is certainly far greater than any Western historian or most Indian historians would have suggested at the time of his death. The passing of the years and the many stupendous and unexpected events which have occurred since then suggests that in centuries to come, he will be remembered as one of the main molders of the modern world, especially as far as Asia is concerned. With these few words, I would like to express my gratitude to our dignitaries and all participants in, for today's program. And I offer my pranams at the holy lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Sri Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda. And I pray to them for always guiding us in the proper direction so that we can always be good and do good. Pranams, Namaskar. Now our honorable dignitaries will leave the dais. I would request all our students and teachers and staff members to kindly stand up in respect. <laughs>